Hey friends, I thought I would share a little bit about uh, this coming conjunction on December 21st, uh, where Jupiter and Saturn are going to appear very close in the sky. We'll find out together exactly how close they're going to be. Uh, just want to teach a couple quick lessons along the way. Uh, this is the Stellarium program here I'm using, and I decided to include this orange line here. This is a special line in the sky called the ecliptic. The ecliptic. Now, the reason there's a line in the sky like this is because our solar system is pretty flat. Uh, when our solar system formed, it was a spinning ball of dust and gas. And just like pizza dough, when you spin it, it flattens out. That happens in the universe all the time. You have galaxies and uh, planets themselves and solar systems that flatten out. And so our solar system is uh, very, very flat. We, and we're on that flat plate as well. So when we're looking out, we're seeing other things along this special line called the ecliptic. Ancient people figured this out, of course, and they figured out that that is where you have, guess what, eclipses. So that's hence the name ecliptic, right? So the sun, the moon, the planets, they all travel along this line. So right now, this is, uh, I'm set for tonight. This is December 13th, and I've got the time set for 615. And look at this. So you see that dot right there? That's Mars, which is going to be very high in the sky here already at 615. And you notice that right along the ecliptic, you get way over here, you have uh, Jupiter and Saturn. And they're already so close together. Look, I, I, you know, you can't even hardly tell from this angle that they're two separate planets. And we're just about a week away, just a little over a week away. So anyway, I uh, just thought I'd share that with you about the ecliptic. It's kind of neat. So for now, let's just zoom in. Uh, a little more on that patch of sky and see what's going to happen here uh, over the next yeah let's zoom in a lot here okay so there they are right now now look at that already uh, if you just hold your thumb up at arm's length you can make both of those planets disappear just with your thumb they're they're probably within about a degree of each other already but they're going to get closer so let's find out let's find out together how close ready so i'm going to just move the date down here uh, we're on the 13th, 14th, keep watching the dots in the sky, 15th, 16th. Ooh, the moon's going to make an appearance there, but not too close. The moon's just a little few degrees off the ecliptic, or it can, it can cross the ecliptic, um, which is when we have eclipses. But anyway, look at this, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, look at that, 21st. So these planets come together in the sky. Now keep in mind, they're not actually close to each other. Okay, uh, Jupiter, I believe, is five AUs from the sun, so it's five times Earth's distance from the sun. Saturn is 10 times Earth's distance from the sun, right? Twice as far away. So they're nowhere close to each other. I mean, that's that translate, that's about, uh, about a half billion miles, roughly, about a half billion miles farther. Um, and so, but it just, they appear to be lined up, okay? It's kind of like if you take your thumb and line it up with some distant tree. It doesn't mean that your thumb and that tree are anywhere close to each other. It just means that from your perspective, they're lined up. So that's what we're seeing here. This happens about every, I think it's, I read this, it was about every 20 years, I think, Jupiter and Saturn. I hope I got that right. I think it was 20 years. They, they will um, go into a conjunction like this where they're very close together. But this one is sort of extra special because they're extra close together. Let's find out just for fun exactly how close. So we're on the 21st now at 6.15 p.m. Now this is from South Florida. I'm going to click on one of them here. I'll click on Saturn and I'm going to center this and start zooming in. Look at that. That is, that is really pretty incredibly close. Right now, the entire screen you're looking at is one degree. So in other words, if you hold out your thumb, you would probably blot out the entire screen, not just them. So we have to zoom in a lot further to try to separate them more which is just, it's just crazy how close they are. Uh, so at the very bottom, there's a little marker here called field of view. Right now I'm at 0 0.07, 0 0.07 degrees. Uh, that's incredible. That's incredible. So that's what we're looking forward to on the 21st. Uh, just going back a step, in case I forgot to mention this, you are looking, by the way, to the southwest. You notice down here at the bottom it says southwest. Why? Because it's winter time in the north. So that means the sun is as far south on the globe, the direct rays of the sun are as far south 
uh, as they're going to be. So when we're in the north, we have to look to the southwest. I mean, check out the setting sun. It, you know, it's setting in the southwest. It's not sitting in the west right now. It's setting and rising for that matter. Uh, it's rising in the southeast and setting in the southwest. So everything shifted southward because it's winter time in the north. Cool stuff. December 21st. Let's just hope for uh, clear skies.